Hey guys, I finished my backrest. Let me uh, re let me pause you guys and I'll let you see what it looks like. There we go. I bowl cutted. First of all, we'll start with this. I made another one of those because that's that's actually what I had left over from the bracket. So there we go. So we made another one of those. We got our backrest. Now this is the finished. Here, let's set this over here. But this is the finished tool bag I made. It's actually turned out pretty damn good. Not bad at all. Actually, what I what I first did, guys, with that is I had a piece of leather. I wetted it down, I rolled it up, and I tucked it underneath here. Because I was going to make something, I was going to make like a, a side that opened up and I could like tuck tools in there, you know. That was my fur, because you know, when I'm sitting on the seat, when I have the little tool bag here, the tool bag tends to slide underneath there, so I figured, well, if I make something that'll take the space up, that'll stop the tool bag from sliding in. And then after the thing dried, I started thinking to myself, you know what, that's going to look pretty damn good on the back of there like that. And it actually turned out better than the ones I bought. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another one of these just like this one for the front. And all this is, this is a 12 by 12 piece of uh, tooling leather. That's all it is. They're very, very quick, very simple to make. You just cut a piece of 10 ounce tooling leather out, 12 by 12. You wet it down real good, you roll it up, and you stick it underneath that seat there, and it forms into this shape. And once it's dried, see you later. So, anyway, this is. This has double-sided tape. The reason why I have I put that back is in case of the bracket, in case of when I go over a big bump, the bracket it'll hit my leather and it won't uh, it won't scratch the fender up. So this is permanently in, and when I have the OEM seat on, this gets covered up. So that's done, and that's what it'll look like from behind. Let's go to the other side, and that's what it looks like from the front. I didn't curve it at all, because I'll tell you, man, there are bits to make, you know, to try to get the scratches and the hammer marks out, you know, and I don't have many, um, I really don't have many metal refinishing tools. I have to get the burrs off of my edges a little bit when I get some um, some emery cloth there's still some burrs you know like I, I did the diamond cuts on the bar as well I don't know if you guys can see I don't think you can see the diamond cuts on that and I have to get another button head screw for this or I'll leave the one in and maybe I'll put some welds I'll weld it with some lead on top, bottom, and side. Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll put some Loctite on that little bolt there. And we'll put some lead in here. That should hold it. Now, when I sit on this, it's just enough. It doesn't take, it doesn't like boss the looks of the bike over. It's just big enough. It just touches like the back of my rump. It, it's just enough to let me know that that's the back. And this is one eighth. This is one eighth copper. The bar is a quarter inch thick copper. So what I did is you see the front of the seat raised up a quarter inch. So what I did is I put the, the, uh, the bracket down first, this, the uh, backrest bracket, and then the seat bracket goes on top of that so it raises the front up. 
and it angled the back backward just enough you know to where it's actually pretty comfortable now you know that way there this will stop me from going back coming off the seat and it's uh, you know nice and shiny guys look how nice and shiny man that is man Now we have to figure out a way to fasten that tool bag to the back of there. So I'm going to sleep on it. Probably I can always put a couple I can always weld a couple L brackets in the back of this and then cut a couple loopholes. You know, or Maybe what I'll do is I'll cut a couple loops in the center of this. One isn't enough. I'm going to have to have two of them. You know, that way with two of them, it'll, it might, it might wobble like this. It might not. But I'm going to have to, I'm going to definitely have to have two loops, possibly, probably two loops. Because I don't, I don't really want to weld onto this, guys. You know, if it ain't broke, don't mess with it. So maybe what we'll do is um, we'll cut a couple loops in the center of this thing here, a couple slots, and uh, I'll figure something out. I have some leather strap laying around here. I don't want to use zip ties on it. You know, I don't like using zip ties on this. I'm trying to trying to use as much leather as possible I want to keep it you know like I want to keep it nostalgic looking and uh, once you start using zip ties on it man you know there's there's no end to use using the fucking zip ties you know I got I got the Western theme going the American Indian theme going on it and uh, I think it looks pretty cool, you know. Okay, guys. Hang in there, man. See you later.